This is the first lesson in physical science, properties of matter. So what is matter? Matter is something that has mass and takes up space. So we're actually going to write that into our first empty space here. Matter it has mass and takes up space, meaning um, like it has weight to it and it takes up space. So you couldn't walk through it. Well, that's not actually true because if it's a gas, you you could walk through it. Um, you're just mo you're kind of pushing the molecules out of the way as you go. So there's matter that has a pure fixed composition and there's matter that is a material made of two or more substances so it's not pure so let's start with the pure matter pure matter with a fixed composition is called a substance I know that seems like kind of a generic term but in this case substance is actually our scientific term so it should be one that's easy enough to remember substance is pure matter with a fixed composition there's two types of substances that we'll look at. One is an element. So an element is a substance that's made up of one kind of atom. Uh, a substance that's made up of two or more kinds of atoms is called a compound. Okay, so those are very simple definitions of elements and compounds. Later on we'll have uh, more in-depth lessons on elements and compounds and how they form and what they are. So um, you can check those out later. But for now what you need to know is a pure substance, you can have a pure element or you'll have a pure compound. And these are not mixtures, they're, they're what they are. On the other hand, when you have material made up of two or more substances, now there's that word substances. So we're looking at material made up of two or more elements or compounds, because that's what a substance is. So that kind of material is called a mixture. And there are two main types of mixtures. There's a mixture that's evenly mixed, where it all looks the same. So we're looking at a, a prefix meaning same. You might have heard of this prefix before, homo meaning same. And for a mixture, we're looking at a homogeneous mixture. I know it doesn't fit in the circle, but homogeneous mixture or homogeneous mixture, you might hear it as well. And that's a mixture that's evenly mixed. Everything looks the same. So I'll even put that in parentheses. So sameness is the important part there. This other type of mixture where it's unevenly mixed, um, you can see the different components in those mixtures. So different is what we're looking at here. And this is another prefix that you've probably heard before. This is hetero. Okay, hetero means different. So heterogeneous mixture is where uh, the mixture, you can see all these different components. Okay. So uh, a type of heterogeneous mixture in which the particles settle at the bottom. So if you had a beaker full of let's say muddy water, and you leave it to sit for a while, you're going to have all your mud particles settle at the bottom, and the water will be, you know, all around, but mostly on top of that. So where the visible, visible particles settle, that's going to be called a suspension. Okay? So we'll go back over to the homogeneous side. There are two... Uh, main types of homogene homogeneous mixtures. One of them is when the particles are completely dissolved. Um, something like salt water. Particles will dissolve into, uh, the salt particles will dissolve into the water. So you won't be able to see the salt in that water anymore. It might look a little cloudy, but the entire thing is going to look the same, which tells you it's a homogeneous mixture, and you won't see those particles because they're completely dissolved. So this is called a solution. Okay, another type of uh, homogeneous mixture, so it all is going to look the same, but in this case the particles are going to remain suspended. So they're not dissolved, they're actually still there in uh, the material itself, but you can't actually see them because the particles are so small. This is something called a colloid. Um, an example of a colloid would be paint. 
So paint all looks the same. You put it on the wall and it's a nice even color. But what it really is, is it's a liquid that has part of, uh, solid particles, uh, like, like paint flex is kind of what it is. It has solid particles in the liquid. And so when you spread it on the wall, you're spreading this liquid with solid pieces in it. But you can't see them because they're so small. Um, it all looks the same, so it's a homogeneous mixture. But since the particles are still in there, it's a colloid. If the particles dissolve, it's a solution, okay?